What does the energy efficiency of an appliance tell us? We've got some keywords to help us explain this in words. Uh, before we do that, just a quick quiz. What is the unit of energy? What are the unit? What is the unit of energy? Well, that is of course the joule, shortening capital J, and that unit is used for all energy types. Now, second quick quiz. What is the conservation of energy or the law of conservation of energy? And remember that that means that we cannot destroy energy, we can't create it out of nothing. So when we look at an appliance such as a light bulb, let's look at the, en the input energy. So the input energy. That input energy must equal the useful energy that we transform, the useful energy transformed. So in the case of a light bulb, that would be light plus any wasted energy transformed. And that would be heat in the case of a light bulb. Because heat is not useful, we want light from a light bulb. Now, the efficiency of an appliance, such as a light bulb or a fridge or a cooker, it tells us how much useful energy we get as a percentage of the total input energy. So if you have an efficiency of 100%, it means that all of the input energy gets transformed into the useful energy. But not many appliances are 100% efficient. In fact, hardly any. The only appliance that is 100% efficient really is a heater, because eventually all forms of energy get transformed into heat. So that's one thing to bear in mind. If you get a, uh, uh, an efficiency which is 100%, um, always double check um, because it's very unlikely. So let's define efficiency using these words. So the efficiency, the efficiency of an appliance, an appliance, so we've now done that one, is the amount of useful of useful energy transformed amount of useful energy transformed so we've got done that one and we've done useful as a percentage as a percentage I've done that one of the total energy supplied. The efficiency of an appliance is the amount of useful energy transformed as a percentage of the total energy supplied. It can also be expressed as a fraction, but a percentage is probably the easiest to understand.